384 tiny little tubes, each one containing just one cubic milliliter of liquid, ready for testing. This is not work that can be done by humans, quite honestly. This is state-of-the-art biotechnology in action. Ultra-high precision, fully automated medical research and development, also known as high throughput screening. So these are all hamster cells that um, are uh, later in production going to produce a protein that is used as a biotech drug. And the question now is which of these cells is actually very good at that and which is more or less lazy. Yeah? And then we pick the best ones and use those in production. And that's what is happening here in a completely automated way. Now screening on that volume in the past without technology like this would have taken... Oh, uh, I mean, 30 years by, by, by 40 people every day, 24 hours. It was basically not doable. Without this type of technology, these biotech production capabilities wouldn't be there. That increased automation is key to future manufacturing across the board. Humans making way for robots, however tiny. Not only making things more efficient, but in cases like this, making the previously impossible possible. Oh, this is millimeter or less type of work. The whole microization of uh, robotics is here at work. And also we're not doing this to you know, save labor. It's not about a cost factor, which often happens in robotics, where people say, if I let a robotic do it, it costs less, say in automotive manufacturing. This has nothing to do with cost. People just couldn't do this job at all. Taking people out of the picture is just as crucial in the manufacturing process. In this fermentation plant, cells are being multiplied by the billions without any human involvement. Here, automation is not about cost saving or efficiency. It's about removing human error. And every time a human touches something in a process, there is the risk of variability. Even worse when person A does it today and person B does it tomorrow. But a robot's um, variability can be much more narrowly defined. So that is precision, lack of variability is a big advantage in manufacturing. People are talking about you know, a fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0. In research and development of pharmaceuticals, where is the link? Where are things headed towards that future? It's an easy thing to say, but it's really everywhere in everything we do. And uh, the hard part sometimes is to say, now I can measure all this stuff, but how do I use that data intelligently to make the ne next step forward? A smarter insight that helps you use the same data more intelligently can become a competitive advantage. Well, that's all for this special week looking at how in future we'll be producing the goods. For now, I'm Rosie Tompkins for CNN in Hanover, Germany.